this is in your entire the Lord kitchen and this is uh pagano pala kami sa story namin uh, we will tell you about our story kung saan kami nagmeet kung o nga kung saan kami nagmeet kung saan yung yung una naming pagkikita mga inbay so i'll introduce you my husband Anong pangalan? What is your name? So you introduce yourself. Hi there. Uh, uh, my name is Arnold Kitching. Arnold, like uh, the actor, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, same, same first name. And uh, uh, I had to go back in history a little bit like uh, uh, my my dad was, was in the Air Force and he was No, just our quite, story! And I, I'm leading to him and uh, she was, he was quite a character um, and my mother, they worked together to have a better life they had three different businesses uh, after the uh, Second World War, my dad trained as a dance teacher and they had a dance studio and they used to provide weddings and parties as well for people in the dance hall that they rented in uh, Lowfell, part of Gateshead, which is the south side of River Tyne and Newcastle to the north side of the river. Um, so just telling you that to know, to have you know that uh, after I lost my mother in 2010, uh, I'd just come back from the Philippines visiting Maria. I've been 16 times so far. This is now December of uh, 2020. Um, and I had just come back and uh, I went to bed, I was tired and I was going to go and see my mother the next day. She lived in a little apartment. Um, but when I phoned up, pre-warning pre, pre uh, her and her carer that I was coming to see her, oh, she had been taken ill. She had taken a stroke and uh, was on her way to go to hospital. So uh, it, it was an awful big loss for me, my mother. I really loved her as my mother. You know. But anyway, I was quite lonely then, you know, that's understandable to you, I think. and. Uh, I had a computer and I want me to tell the real story. Yes. Uh, and I, and I uh, contacted a couple of ladies from Russia and, uh, and also I saw, <laughs> I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw Maria from the Philippines. Oh, sexy pa ako And uh, <laughs> And I thought, oh, she looks a nice looking lady. Uh -huh. And a uh, jolliness about her, you know. So uh, that was the first time that I went over to the Philippines to meet Maria. And I met her in a, this part of uh, Cebu, which is their second biggest city over there. Manila, of course, being the capital. Um, find people a little more friendly in Cebu than in Manila. But anyway, I had to go to an area called La Hoog in uh, part of Cebu. Went upstairs in this modern building and uh, was uh, introduced from behind a curtain uh, to Maria. So, we, we so what is that? Had... No, what is that? Why you go there? Because that's the site that you joined in? Yes. I, I was joined in a group called Foreign Ladies. And then my... So that was ladies, you know, all not in 
England or the British Isles. But the uh, United Kingdom has got so many names. Yeah. Uh, a small country in area, really, uh, but um, important in the world, you know, like a, a financial centre. But anyway, um, yeah, so I had gone over and I met Maria in La Hogue and uh, I said, do you like Chinese, Chinese food? She says, oh yes. <laughs> So, uh, so I, I got a taxi. A lot of taxis are used in the Philippines. Um, uh, taxis, some private cars, uh, and lots of little 125 motorbikes. A little bit different to England where it's, everybody has a car, where most people have a car. And there's one or two where uh, little motorbikes and some big ones for enthusiasts. Oh, very um, oh, oh. So uh, we went and we had a lovely uh, Chinese meal. Um, and I'm going back and to I, that. I would like to go back to that restaurant. Yeah, we only ever nice. went there once. And it was really nice. It did have a Chinese feel about it, obviously. It was very good. And then uh, I said, well, I'll can I see you tomorrow, Maria? Or you, do you like me enough to uh, meet up tomorrow? She said, oh, not, yes. Not the bad thing you do oh, to cheer it. So I'm quite, uh, quite happy to meet up. So uh, the next day we met up. And um, I think the first thing after that that we did was um, we went to the capital of... Bahol, which is a big island, puts me in mind a bit of Borneo, this kind of both start with a B. No, uh, that's a, a, a but, uh, the capital, the capital of Bahol, which is called Tabularan. Uh, uh, Tab uh, it's on the southern part of uh, the Bahol Island, and we stayed there um, in a little room and went swimming a little bit and we had a lovely time together and we, we discovered that we both liked music and singing yes and so we went uh, we went the next day i think it was or that evening uh, to uh, um, a place that has little rooms and a computer set up and a big television screen, microphones, and uh, you could rent yeah. that room and uh, and sing. And Maria did her type of songs, and I did mine, and we joined it together on some. So we we, we like so to sing. We realised that uh, we had music in common, you know, um, probably stemmed with me from my dad being a dance teacher and he loved music as well you know and so we got on really well you know um, Are you and finally I was able to bring Maria to England after a lot of expense and um, contact with the British government it was a little bit kind of surprising and unbelievable uh, a touch to me that finally I was returning back to, back to England from the Philippines but Maria was coming with me you know and uh, we landed at Newcastle Airport which is the north side of the River Tyne and uh, uh, I believe I had left my car at the car park at the airport and so we drove back through Newcastle towards and through Gateshead, which is where uh, my childhood was, and then a little further on to where uh, we I have ended up living and Maria's come to live with me at a little place called Penshaw, uh, P-E-N-S-H-A-W, and it has a monument on, uh, on the top of a hill there, 
uh, which gets lit up at night by the local council, which is Sunderland, it, which isn't, it has become a city now, but it's not as, it's still not as big as Newcastle in the north, uh, just a few miles away, it's about 12 miles difference, or uh, perhaps about 15 kilometres apart they are, you know. But um, I've, I've done a lot of, quite a bit of talking there to you, <laughs> to get you to um, to be able to appreciate uh, how our life was. There was a lot of travelling back and forwards when I uh, when I found that I very much liked Maria, you know, and I uh, had been married before and uh, had two children that marriage but uh, we found we weren't suitable for each other me and my first wife which is I feel like there's a little bit of a failure you know to have got married then then break it up but I thought to myself well I don't want to spend the rest of my life with someone that doesn't show me affection uh, or anything she was quite a bit of a, a cool sort of a person okay so but it's my story two, now we did have two children you know so now i want to pass you over to my wife she is my wife now maria and uh, she'll give a few points on her point of view of our relationship and how it has developed yes yeah uh, so our my story is uh, when I was maybe 20, 20, ah, no, 25, oh, 25, nagre-rent ako ng isang room sa Cebu. Ngayon, meron akong kinakasama dati na taga, ano siya, taga Sweden. Siya yung nag, siya yung, is, siya yung nag-rent ng room ko for four years. Pero hindi kami nagsasama. Parang, parang ano lang ba? Parang inarkila lang niya ako ng room. Tapos umuwi siya sa Sweden. Ganon, pinapadalhan niya ako. Tapos one time, nagpo four years na kami. Ano na pala? Yung parang siguro inano lang niya ako. Yun, yung parang kung talagang, anong tawag dun? Yung, yung sana, bisaya o na lang na ako ang uban. Iya kung gi kuan ba kung makahuwat ba ko niya so iya ko niloko o niloko niya ako na ganun nga ang nangyari napatay na daw siya ganyan ganyan marami pala siyang babae so ngayon ang tagal kong naka on sa kanya so i try to move on so that's why i join this uh, foreign ladies as well like uh, philippine life meets that com o loveme.com sa Cebu. So, kasi meron, meron nagsasabi sa akin dati na pupunta daw, ano, maganda daw yun ang site na yun. So, pinuntahan ko, ang ginawa kasi, wala pa naman akong anak dati, eh, single pa naman ako doon. So, hindi pa katabaan ang lola nyo. So, may, may body pa ako dati. <laughs> Natabot-taba ko na. So, nagano lang kami, ang ginagawa nila, ano yung pupunta ka doon, tapos magpipiktorial kayo, mga sexing damit, mga sexing ano. Tapos pala, yung ano pala, yung work ko dati, nagagansilyo ako, yung crochet. O, tapos ako yung gum gumagawa ng mga two-piece nila, one-piece nila, tsaka yung, yung cover-up nila. Ako ang gumagawa kasi inano ko sa kanila. Tapos yun din ang sinusuot ng mga babae doon. Tapos, may iba nga tayo. Yun nga, doon ako na-discover ni Arnold. Tapos, sila yung parang bibinta ka nga, ibibinta. Parang ganun. Tapos, eh, sila ang mag-chat-chat para sa'yo. Chat-chat. Sila ang mag-chat-chat kasi meron sila mga babae doon na nag-chat-chat para sa lalaki. Pero, hindi sila maka-open ang message mo kung hindi sila magbabayad ng 50 $50 per message na ma-open nila. So, pagdating ni Arnold doon, o sila na nag-communicate yata, marami din ako na namimit na lalaki doon. Pero, 
hindi ko sila type, hindi ko alam. Kasi ganito, pag once na may meet mo doon sa site na yun, ibabalik ka rin. Sasakay ka ng taxi, wag may meet lang kayo kung saan, kakain lang kayo, tapos pagkatapos mong kumain, kailangan kang ibalik nila doon sa site na yun. Kasi hindi sila nagbibigay ng number mo, yung site. Nasa sayo yun, pag na meet mo na yung lalaki, saka mo ibibigay sa kanya yung number mo kung gusto mo nga siya. Kung hindi mo siya gusto, pwede hindi mo ibibigay yung number mo. So ako naman, yung mga ibang na meet ko, hindi ko gusto. Kaya hindi ko binibigay yung number ko kasi takot ako. Kaya ngayon, kay Arnold, when I meet him, I think he pay about 70 Seventy-five dollar, fifty dollar. To pay in the foreign Yes. When you meet me, you pay for it. Today? Yes. So, kasi sabi nila, kasi bago niya, bago niya ma-meet yung babae, magbabayad mo na sila doon sa site na yun. So, tapos inambitahan ako, tapos ang dami yung mga, mga, yung mga messages Kinapi nila, pinabasa sa akin, ito yung story ninyo, ito yung pinag-usapan namin. It's really an American organization. Yes, but that's a American man as well who owns that. You know, but yes. it looks like, oo, ganun nga. Tapos, sometimes, mayroon din kaming mamimit, pupunta din kami doon sa uh, waterfront, ho waterfront Hotel in Cebu para sa cocktail party namin, mamimit namin yung mga... American, mga kung saan-saan sila. Basta kung magugustuhan nila, marami doong nagkapag-asawa ng ganun. Pero mahal nga sila. Pero yun nga ang way na nag-meet kami. Na nag-meet, you know, nag-meet nag 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 kami. Doon na ang way. Tapos binigay ko na sa kanya yung number ko. Tapos ganun. Tapos nakailang balik na siya. Binabalikan niya ako. Ganun, ganyan. Tapos yung ano ko nga, tapos yung room na yun na nirentahan ko, inal umalis na ako kasi kinalimutan ko na yung Sweden man kasi niluloko niya ako. Tapos pagkatapos nun, nag ano na ako, nag uh, doon ako sa kapatid ko na ninirahan. Tapos kasi yung business ko nga is si uh, crochet. Meron akong meron akong pinagbintahan doon. Meron akong ano, uh, anong tawag nun niya, bibinta niya doon sa SM na yun, yung, yung dinideliberan ko, yun nga si Ma'am Perla. Tapos, yun, yun ang naging business ko para sa daily life namin, yung ano ba, konsumo. Tapos, nagpapatayo ako ng bahay doon sa tabi ng sister ko sa, sa ano nga, sa Cebu, sa Mambaling ako dati. Oo, Mambaling ako nakatira dati sa may Alaska, yung bahay ko na sa ano, sa putik. <laughs> And then, ano pala kami, ang oh, nakalimutan ko, uh, pito, ang, pito ang mga, uh, I have seven siblings, lahat sila is babae. Wala kaming, wala kaming kapatid na lalaki. Tapos yung hometown ko, taga Bohol kami, taga Island, Buena Vista, taga Kabulan mi. So, akong papa, o akong mama, o akong mga ikso, on dito na po yun. Yes, amo ang koan. Including part of the home. Oo. Oh, oh. So, ang amo ang municipality is eh, Buena Vista. Hmm, Buena Vista, Bohol. So, dito ko nagdako, tapos 14 day akong edad, nagtrabaho na ko, ni Arina akong Cebu, kay manglaba, mangutaw, magplan, uh, magplansa, magluto. Katusay akong edad, nagtrabaho na ko para makatawag ko sa amin. Oo, uh, 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 tapos... O yun nga, so, dadalawa natin tong story namin kasi ang dami namin sasabihin sa inyo. So, yun nga. So, yun nga, guys. Yun nga ang, ano, taga-bohol ako, tabisayang, bisaya ako. So, tagalogin na lang natin yung iba. So, yun nga ang sorry namin, no, kasi doon kami nag-meet, tapos nag-anak, nanganak pala ako sa, ano, sa city hospital. 
mga 33 years old na ako na buntis. Oh, 33 years old ako na buntis. 2012, kung pinanganak yung anak ko. So, doon ako na buntis, tapos siya pumupunta, bumabalik, umuwi sa England, bumabalik doon kasi hindi pa niya yata kayang dalhin kami. Tapos, pag yung kasi ang mahal talaga yung visa, yung processing ng visa, hanggang ngayon meron pa nga akong last visa na napabayaran. Tapos, kaya nga natagalan siya na kukunin kami, so doon na ako naganap. Describe a bit about the visa and uh, what is involved to be able to come and uh, be with the person from England or America oh, oh, or France or anywhere. Ito, hindi pwede dito. Uh, sa, dito sa Briti, dito sa UK, kasi mas maganda pala yung married ka na agad sa Cebu, uh, sa, sa Philippines and mag-spouse ka na papunta dito. Kasi yung visa mo, bar parang dalawa lang yata ang kukunin mong visa. Parang, kasi two years, two years yan eh. So, nagpunta ako dito, spousal visa, ano, piyansi. So, nagkuha ako ng piyansi visa, and then after piyansi visa, nag-extension uh, leave to remain. After, uh, uh, leave to remain, After leave to remain, extension leave to remain. After leave to remain, this is the last one. Four pala. Kasi dit, ito yung last ko na ano, indefinite leave to remain. So, ang daming pera, guys. Ang daming pera. Tag, Quite a few hours oh, oh, tag to three, uh, jump over, isn't it? Yes, tag 3,000 almost yung kada two years mong ano. 2 years mong application. Kasi kailangan imimit mo yung karterya nila o yung ano, yung financial na 18,000 kung meron kang ma-income. 18,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah, the pounds. English pounds. So, English pounds yan, guys. So, hindi madali ang mag-asawa ng ano. Akala nyo madali. Hindi. Hindi madali. Ang daming struggle, guys. So, kahit malaki ang agwat namin, hindi ko inaano. No? Kahit ako, 30, uh, ano na ako, 41 na ako ngayon. Nag-meet kami, age niya dati is 69. Are you 69 the time that we met each other? Yes. 68? Ah, yeah, 68 pala siya. Nag-meet kami dati. So, 68 siya, pabalik-balik na siya doon, ganun. So I'm, I'm, a, uh, And he is, I'm a fair bit older than, than you, but we seem to get together okay. Yeah, hindi ko inaano man kung anong age niya. Ang akin lang, yung ano ba? Yung, ano yung ka? Yung palangga ka ba? Hmm. And then he, he will look after to you and, and, and be nice to you. And that's all man I want. And, oh, say, oh. and say that you've made friends since you came here. Oo. And I had a, a man, a new man, married to a Philippine lady. So they're your main friends, you know, Brian and, and Jocelyn. Yes. And then, yun, yun nga pala, tapos mag, uh, five years lang ako makaano na pala. Maka, maka, I hope so, na maging citizen na ako next year this is like indefinite leave to remain na yung kukunin ko I'm para sure, sure maging citizenship na ako dito you know? tapos yung trabaho niya pala dati oh, carpenter mm, carpenter joiner um, pala siya with my, with my skill and the help of others um, my friend Brian is a trained as a plumber after he came up with the army mm -mm. Um, and we've helped each other to, to the next big extension that we're building outside of the house which actually can be her house, a separate house so we could rent this house that we own that we're living now um, and that would be an extra income for us. Yes, yes. And uh, initially, 
the bit I had a few thousand pounds saved up, but the um, the British government wanted to know that I had a reasonable few thousand pounds, so that Maria was would not be a liability upon the English um, welfare system and uh, government, not you know. So yeah. So I did sell a, a house. Uh, just a one bedroom house with a little bit of space around it in Spain, close to Benidorm, where a lot of English people like to go for their holidays. You know, um, they're close by to there, a little bit north, just a little, uh, about three mile, miles north of uh, Benidorm. Um, and so quite a big decision for me when it had been my parents' house for 20 odd years, uh, I decided to sell it, uh, which gave me a good few thousand pound in the bank. But of course, building this extension outside, or, or a house, let's, uh, let's call it, um, taking a, a big toll on that money, you know? But heading towards the end of the construction of it, I have a lot of the materials. Um, I got a bricklayer to do the brickwork of it. Uh, for all I did, the foundations and the oversight concrete. It's been um, it's been good fun to build the house to make it as we wanted it. It's basically the design of this house, but a slight difference. But it is the main thing happening in our lives at the moment. At the moment. So but our... When we get turned with that, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to get a bit financially better fixed. And uh, we will go to the Philippines every year, which we have done so far nearly, except for this year, 2020. We haven't managed to go. But... Um, but 2019, when my father has died, so we just visit there. And, you know, I, I, I managed to um, find the uh, English pounds together to be able to send Maria and our little daughter Angel. So we come in, no, 2019. Uh, 2019, yeah, 2019, uh, August 31. They went, they went over to her father's funeral, you know. Yes. Which Maria so, was quite, quite close, maybe more than other sisters. Uh, she describes to me, anyway, that, uh, that she was her dad's favourite, if you want to say that. But of course, all children. Mm -hmm should be treated equal, you know. Yeah, yes, all, all, uh, all of us is favorite, man. But, you know, I'm just very sad that my, but I'm, I lost I'm, my father. Yes, because she'd lost her mother so uh, I got, a little bit before that, so yeah. she has no mom and dad now, as it's neither not, do I now, you know. It's really, uh, we miss them, really. And my mom sad. and dad will go ahead, people, um, you know, they uh, had business, and Maria had a little business uh, in uh, Cebu. Uh, so you so, nice. it, so it's in Maria to be a business type person, and uh, also in me from from my uh, my approach to our lives together. You know. Um, so that, that's kind of a little bit why we are building this house, which is the only house with a bit of spare land on the end uh, where a house could be built. Yeah, yeah so, so I we're, hope we're guys that... sort of enjoying doing it and uh, mind there's much more rules and regulations in Tito. England on building something. Yes. Uh, than there is in the Philippines. In the Philippines you can just have a piece of land 
and you just build whatever you think is is acceptable for you, you know, or you plan to have, depending on your budget, of course. You know. Pero dito iba, um, super, so much e regulation. Yeah. And too expensive to build a house, and it's not easy. So, oh yes, it, it surprised me. It's not easy. Uh, even though I was involved in building work, it surprised me. Uh, you know, the last year and this year, of how much everything costs, and all the um, bureaucracy around it. You know that you have to have a building inspector to come out to see that it's the property is built to the right standards and. All of that type of thing, and there's a gas safety if you have a gas fire uh, or gas heating. Because it's too cold here. And electricity, and both both an electrician and a plumber uh, are a bit specialised compared with bricklayers and joiners, uh, uh, and they have to be certified every year that they qualify to carry out that type of work. I have to do a little exam. I'm not just sure what it is, you know, but uh, about what questions are asked and that. But keep them up to standard and up to date with modern practices. Yes. So okay, guys. So next time I will tell you about the the story of our house that we built. Oh well. Uh, tapos my, update namin kayo. We'll, we'll perhaps not uh -oh. talk too much about because because the maybe the boring because na kayo. It, it might be a little um, tedious for you. We've got other things to do. We, we would like to talk about. Yes. I mean, when we do get financially in a better position, uh, I would like, and I think Maria would, would not mind, going to see other parts of the world. You know. You know, the, we will. Like, uh, like to go to St. Petersburg, which was the capital of Russia, and um, maybe it's Moscow, which is the capital now, uh, China, which you get a lot of Chinese people in the Philippines come and start their own businesses there. Um, I'd like to go to, uh, in within Europe, there's a lot of long established countries and uh, sorry, sorry. years of life. Um and the late, city. late to go to Rome and see it there and Pompeii where the uh, volcano erupted, you know, centuries ago. Um and America. And, uh, Are you already? Maybe it's Africa. I'd like to go to Australia because we did get a little bit help in from an Australian man that we met <laughs> one time. A little like bit help did. of certifying that uh, Angel, our daughter, was our daughter, you know. Um, so we got eight years old daughter now. So she's so. Eight, eight years old. I mean, myself, I wasn't, wasn't planning to be a married man. I had thought to be... Uh, Bachelor, see, and, uh, bachelor and go man. around and see these places in the world, you know. But living on your own in a house can become a little, um, a little depressing for the mind. Depressing for the mind, you know. So uh, you I'm, already re depression. I'm really quite lucky that uh, that after losing my mom, I, I met Maria, who, like my mother. She has a uh, get up and go in her, you know, she is uh, yeah, she's, uh, d determined. Uh, and, I build uh, this room. Str a strong, I build this room. Strong personality uh, lady, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, much more suitable for me than the lady that I first married. So that's enough. So I do. We're gonna tell him next time, I okay? Do, I do think so about my first wife in in a concerned way, you know, not that I want to be back with her. I'll spend the rest of my life with him, Ray. Say hi. So this is our daughter now. So Her name is Angel.
Ayan, your hair is curly like me. I resist her. Uh, she just wants to see you. And that's it. We will tell you next time our story because this is so long now. So I hope, guys, you will enjoy our story and you will know, you know, some of it. You will know it already. So, salamat, guys. I hope supportahan you po kami. Ito yung kitchen fam family. Nandito po kami sa North East England. So, uh, next which time... Which was an industrial area, the North East. But, um... Myself, I am hoping to get a property back in Spain again, as I had before. But that's another story. Okay, we need, the, we're going to tell uh, you next time because this is so... Maybe you don't like uh, watching so much. So we're going to tell you next time, guys. So this is Inyong Inday Dolor Kitchen. Yes, okay. Next to Sabi, thank you, say you. What did you see? Say thank you. Yes, thank we're you. We're going to tell you next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, Please I'll like. We find some things in what we yes. said of interest, particularly if you are a couple uh, from foreign parts, perhaps wanting to come to England or some uh, of the original uh, European countries of the world. You know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna button my mouth now. That's too much. And talk. leave it for Maria to say bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. So, sana supportahan niyo po kami. This is Inyong Inday Dolor Kitchen again. Please subs uh, like, uh, subscribe, and pakipress na yun sa, uh, pakipindot na rin sa bell button namin dyan para updated kayo sa mga videos namin. So, thank you, guys. So, uh, time. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later. Bye, mga inday. Babu. Why do you say?